Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. And things are going fair enough. Let's see, we need some dragon sculptures. Definitely need some dragon sculptures. Just a few. And let's see, some pavilions maybe. There is a 3x3 uh, three three square inside there. So a pond, maybe. Uh, two ponds, and we're gonna fill the whole area in with trees. I think cherry trees are gonna be fine here. Yeah. Just a little bit of prettification. Put down here. Yeah, that's fine for cherry trees as well. I like cherry, tree cherry trees. Maybe pretty. Pretty. Pretty trees. Something like that. Down here we could probably fit a private garden, though it's not gonna be... Yeah, it's near stone, so they're not gonna like it there. And what about the Tai Chi Park? The park doesn't care. Well, in that case, we'd have a park right there. Can't fit a park in there, but we can have a park on that corner, and now park here. Yeah, they have everything they need. The Don will better have everything they need. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. You're supplying everything. Um, we still have more than enough silk, so we can make more weaving shops, I think. Six of them. Right, of course they're not going to supply uh, wood up there because uh, we need wood in the warehouse in order to do that. As we discovered before. And that's kind of difficult to arrange. All the other ones are actually done, so... Can fit in more regiments. Uh, da, da, da. Happy New Year, yeah, sure. And across here. I need more... Infantries. And the cavalry. This cavalry I can make right away. Don't have to worry about uh, timber supply. And poor pandas. We're chopping down their food. Sorry, pandas. But we need uh, this. We need this a lot. Our financial problems are pretty much gone at this point. That's the other good thing about uh, pacifying the, <laughs> the northern tribes. They pretty much always want silk and tea and luxury goods. So if you're able to manufacture them, it's just it pays off to just bribe them down and open up trade. Uh, yeah, the gods. I keep forgetting the gods. Thank goodness I don't have to sacrifice to all of them. Um, we have plenty of ceramics. I don't really want you to come into town, but I can offer mediums and make you quite pleased. Unemployment is now to a manageable level again. Okay, so the herbalist has not seen fit to go all the way up here. There he is. Oh, he's coming around now. But I bet he's gonna just go short. He's gonna turn around. Yep, he's gonna turn around. Okay, in that case we're gonna have another little Herbalist shop on the top side here. That was not at all surprising, but it was annoying. The same might be true for acupuncture, we'll see. It 
Let's see if we can make some nice ponds. Pond there. We can actually make a whole series of ponds here. <laughs> it's gonna look weird, but... Why not? And a bunch of trees. Uh, what, what sort of trees? Plum trees? Uh, plums won't like it down there, but they, they're fine here. Um, beaches? No. Only cherry trees like the stones, so... There we go. Like there at least. Can't put anything else in here, so... Ah, one tree outside. That's fine. No, the plebs, they're just gonna get gardens. Insofar as I can build any, that is. Uh, let's reinforce some gardens there, so that's fine. Makes a space down there. The rest of the area will have to wait, in case we need more people. Don't think we'll need more people, but you never know, so... Are we producing enough tea and silk and everything? Probably not, so I could probably produce way more. At least the food area is quite okay. I could probably tell them to have less salt and spices. And the reason for that, it seems like salt and spices is the food stuff they take the least of. So... At least that's my impression of things. Now our tax income should be through the roof, and it is. My goodness. Let me guess, you need acupuncture? Yep. Yeah. That was not a surprise at all. So there you go. Is there another service building they need? I don't think so. Yeah, they should have everything at this point. So it'll fit in the dragon sculpture. Everybody needs more dragons. How's our weapon stockpile? Quite sufficient, actually. Still transporting up to these new infantry forts and everything. And uh, let's see. Let's look at the gods. We're making him contented first, and then I think we're gonna try to get uh, Sun Tzu into town. Keep hoping for the catapults, but uh, I guess we'll have to do some rigging here. So we're gonna go into wood, stockpile wood. Just for a little while. We just need enough timber so we can actually supply the catapults and all the little things. Sun Tzu, you are gonna get a massive gift of something or other. Um, yeah, lacquerware, here you go. Great gift for lacquerware, that should definitely make you show up. Did I start the export of lacquerware? Uh, not there. No, I didn't. No wonder I still have so much of it. Let's start exporting that. Could also export weapons for even more money. But I think I want to keep the weapons around a bit. Around for a bit. Just gonna stockpile timber until we have a couple of loads. That seems fine. So now I'm gonna undo that and hopefully there'll be a card shipment to the fort. 
shall see. Mr. Sun Tzu, get up there to the infantry forts. Bless the forts. Make faster. Ooh. Okay, so I do need something up here. <laughs> Fine. Uh, tear down this. Another herbalist. Another guardsman. Are you telling me that these will actually not suffer collapse? These other buildings. The rich dwellings. Find that a bit hard to believe, but... That, or it's just that the inspector can go to every little building except this one. Which could also be po a possibility. That's fine, though. Please tell me that you're moving. It feels like I've been pushing this load up here all day. That's the crossbow fort. That's not High where I, I want you to go. Warehouse. Dang it. it. Feels like I've been pushing this load up here all day. The higher I go, the harder it gets. Okay, fine. We're gonna need even more logging sheds. Something like this. Need more timber. And now we even need employees. Ah, okay, that's why then we're gonna densify the city a little bit. Couple of houses here, couple of houses here. Uh, actually that last one probably wouldn't fly. And I want to spread out these new dwellings a little bit on the different blocks so that none of them has a sudden shortage of resources because of uh, overpopulation all of a sudden. That seems fair enough. So it should be in the area. Okay, they do have enough timber now. Good. So they're making a catapult. Good. How strong are the cities that we need to conquer? They only have one shield. So they should be fairly easy to deal with. Um, you need silk, tea, wheat, and ceramics. You need stone, weapons, and steel. In that case, we want to conquer Pingyao first, because they we can easily bribe in case they rise up, which they inevitably will. We just know they'll rise up. At this point, we have uh, made both of these guys respectful. Everybody else are also respectful. Nobody should be nuts enough to attack us. And if they are, we have enough money to bribe just about any size army at this point. We have plenty of steel. I'm really kind of surprised by that. We have four steel melters, but six weaponsmiths. And we still have an excess of steel. I had not expected that. I mean, it's a good thing, but still. I thought it was like one for one on these guys, but I guess it's two for one after all. So one steel milk and supply two weaponsmiths. Something like that. Something like that. And now we are making enough timber to stockpile it, so hopefully we'll be able to send an actual load to the... Uh, to the uh, catapult fort. Yeah, we'll have enough timber for that, so that's okay. I suppose this is probably also one of the reasons why the weaponsmiths uh, aren't using all the steel. I mean, they're exporting it up to these forts, so that it takes them a while to deliver every cargo. That's fine, though. Infantry reports are coming online. Yeah, they're getting there. 
few trip, a few trip shy on a couple of these, but that's okay. Need more tim uh, timber or timber. More weapons for the cavalry. Demoralized troops. Oh, that's because he's just been built, so they <laughs> and they're all, also just a single regiments. So they now have enough timber. One wood stored. Okay, so you can deploy them by just sending them one wood at a time here. I thought you needed to send them four at a time, but okay, that's cool. So it's just a shortage of timber, really. It causes problems. Next mission will be rebuild Kai Feng again. Possibly. Kai Feng have a lot have a lot of open space, so just might be something like that. Oh boy, that only problem suddenly dropped. What happened? I'm guessing some houses were abandoned or something. It's 168 and dropped to 110, so I didn't add any new workplaces, I think. Okay, back to the gods. You are happy, that's good. Uh, here, have some hemp. Stay in town, Mr. Tsu. Yeah, we have now have excess of timber. Very good. So at least I won't have to worry about that now. Catapult shall be trained at full speed. Same with the crossbowmen. And once we have all the catapults and everything else, once everything's trained up, we're going to send them out. And uh, conquer. That's all that's left. We only have two warehouses and that's kind of not enough. I don't have any excess warehouses either. So I don't really see just how much extra food production I'm currently experiencing, but that's okay. I suspect it's quite sufficient, <laughs> the food production. Tea production certainly is. Making good money there. Weapon industry has actually spent all the weapons. That's good. Means these things are coming online. So you just need one more troop on that one, and one more horse, and then two catapults. And then they have to stockpile weapons on all the forts too, which I think in most cases they already have, right? Stored one load, yeah, they already stockpiled some of the weapons there. You are probably... Training the last horseman, you're training the last soldier. At least the catapults, you're training another one there. Lots of unemployment, but that's fine. I could build more forts, I probably don't want to do that. I probably want to wait until we have a stockpile of weapons in the warehouse. Could build more weaponsmiths at this point. Not really necessary though. Oh my goodness, do you have lots of money? <laughs> Ten times what we bribed the previous attacker with. I 
Happy New Year, yes, by all means celebrate. Oh, no, no, stay in town, my friend, stay in town. Um, oh, you have expensive habits. Get medium ball grips of silk. There we go. Quite sufficient that. Definitely have enough timber now. You know what? We're gonna tear down these two in favor of two weaponsmiths. There we go. Try to make a little bit more weaponry. Still need enough resources to that last catapult. All the timber is being delivered. There we go. And everything else has been finished. Very good indeed. So here's the problem. If I invade the uh, mini put, it's immediately gonna rise up because our army is gonna be. Go oh. No, 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 no. Very much no. Incredibly much no. Oh dear. And the poor guy trapped on the bridge there. <laughs> I have better things to do than stand here idle with these goods. The city needs more warehouse room to take my heavy load. Well, uh, well, the good thing is that our uh, mills weren't destroyed. But uh, yeah, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. And this is a scripted flood because the ancestors were not unhappy. Ah. Yeah, okay, so let's see. First things first, uh, the water pump. Let's get that replaced. Uh, trading K. Definitely have to replace that. Both of them actually. I have no idea which one's which. Not really none down here then. And of course you forget all your orders. Not weapons. Yeah, that's true. We could import uh, Jade and carve it now. And let's see the other trading K. I put them in the wrong place, but that's okay. Could be worse. Uh, clay pit there. And this was the whole market square. That's a loss. Food and hemp and everything. Well, this is a risk when you build close to the river. This is true. There we go. And uh, these were all kilns. And this was a warehouse dedicated to all the goods. Yeah, that's fine. We will fix that. Ceramics and hemp. And then we need to replace the kilns. There we go. I think that's everything. No, no, that's not everything. There's still an irrigation pump over here. Definitely want this area irrigated. Say that's that. Was there anything else? A roadblock or something? 
Everything else seems okay-ish. Well then. But that was a nasty flood. That said, all our troops are now trained. So I think it's time to go and say hi to this guy first. So we're gonna conquer this city. We are gonna enlist all going home. <laughs> yeah, that's the catapults, I think. At any rate, we're gonna do that. We're gonna send everything and Sun Tzu at them. And we shall see how that goes. But that'll be next time. It is time for a short break. Thank you for watching.